bandana bibs that I bought, which are for teething and dribbles. <laughs> so it stops the moisture from getting through at the back. Hi and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here, welcome my name's Simone. Today I'm going to do a review on these bibs, bandana bibs that I bought which are for teething and dribbles. I got them for £5 from Boots and they're by the brand Newbie and it says UK's number one bib brands. I've never heard of Newbie before um, and this is not a sponsored video or I'm not being paid or anything for this. I just went into Boots and stumbled across these. I really like bandana type bibs. I've used them with my son who is now four and um, almost four and a half months and I'll be bringing him in a minute, he's just having a nap. And I've used them with my daughter and then with my son I've used all different types of bibs. So I've used these types with like the cotton backing but I don't find them to be very good to be honest because he, they dribble through them so quickly and then it soaks through the top and then these type which they're just no good at all they're so flimsy and I think they're probably more, suit, more suited for if you're feeding um, you know like when you're weaning the baby to protect the clothes then this one which is from Argos and it's Emma Bunton range while they look really nice on they are super thin Again, so there's not not practical really, and then the and then this is another one with um, like a backing, but it's not very stiff. I find that the stiffer they are, the better um, they are to you know to absorb like the dribble. So these, what I thought was really good about them was these bits here because my son's been teething now since probably three months, and he's started to be able to put things in his mouth himself. And he does reach down and grab his bib sometime, sometimes. So when I found these, I thought, wow, what a really good practical idea. So you start, you're helping the dribble um, from getting through the claws, but then is also able to hold on to this and not drop it. Because when I've tried him with like teethers, which I'm going to make another video about, um, and it's newbie again, he keeps dropping it and then he gets really frustrated. But another thing as well, which is great, they, I think they had different designs in there, but they was on offer at £5. I don't know how much they are usually. But they're reversible as well. So it's really, to me, I feel like that's really cheap. And then I think because they're a neutral colour as well, they'll go with almost everything. The, the one underneath hasn't got this um, bit on for them to bite. But yeah, so it says that the cute reversible prints and secure velcro closure made from 100% soft, super soft absorbent cotton to catch dribbles and keep baby dry. Two of the bibs feature a silicone teething corner with multiple textures to give baby something to chew on while keeping them dry. Now they'll never drop their favourite teether and the claws will be free from dribbles and it's BPA free it says. So... Yeah, I really, really like the idea, so I'm going to wait until my son wakes up and then put it on. So he's just woken up. So here is Mikey, if you've not seen him before. And that reminds me, if you're new here and you like the video, then please click the subscribe button and also click the like button as well, please. So yeah, so here he is. Hello. You just woke up, didn't you? So I'm going to put one of these bibs on. Like straight away he wants to get it in his mouth. Should we put it on? So yeah, it fastens nicely and easily. What do you think? What do you think, Micah? Do you like that? So it covers quite a good amount of his chest. What's this? Micah? What's that? He's spotted it now. I think as he gets older and his coordination gets better, it'll be easier for him to put it in his mouth. 
But to start off with, I'll probably have to try and help him. What do you think? Hey, what do you think? <laughs> Here's another design. Cute little zebras. They're nice. And then on the back, it's got like a a grey colour. Do you like that one? <laughs> His little face then. And then the last one is the one without. It's got that on the other side. And I'll just show you that one closer what I put him on. What I put on him at first, they're like little foxes. And then this pattern on the other side. So that's the one without the silicone bit at the end. So they feel really nice and I'm hoping that they do a good job to stop the dribble from getting all over his clothes. He's managing to put it in his mouth, isn't he? Ah. <laughs> mm, are you helping him? <laughs> Your face then, hey? <laughs> I just wanted to do an update. It's been an hour and I've just taken it off him now. But he had it on for about an hour and he has definitely wet it all and unfortunately it feels so I'm sorry if you can't see me. Um, unfortunately, it feels like it is coming through the other side. I did say about some of the other bibs that I've got that it really makes a difference if they are really thick. Like this one is a lot thicker, but it is flimsy. But I do have one which is quite stiff. And I think next might have ones that are thicker if you're in the UK. Um, I think you get three, four, six or seven pounds, but I would definitely suggest if you are going to buy any bibs, then you make sure that they are stiff or they are a bit thicker because unfortunately, I think because it's just two pieces of cotton, it's going to go through. I mean, it's not wet his clothes, um, but I'm thinking if it's if it started to soak through and it's only been an hour then I'm probably going to end up having to take all of the three bibs out if we're out for the day and then keep swapping and changing them so I'm really gutted because I really do like this part of it so I will carry on using them but it's just a shame that they're not thicker so that they're more absorbent so I'd say that's the, the main con really the pros are this bit, the design, the fact that it's reversible. Okay, it's a couple of days after I made the initial video and I really thought that the newbie um, bibs were going to be fantastic but unfortunately after I'd say about half an hour, an hour, it was wet. Then I left it on a bit longer to see what it was like and I'd say about, after about, I don't know how long exactly it took, but when I checked a couple of hours later, it was absolutely soaking wet, all scrunched up. When he gets a bit older uh, and he's maybe not dribbling as much, um, then I might, you know, try it on him again and then see if he can grab this and bite it. But yeah, I'm really gutted about that. So in the last video, 
um, I did say to you about the bibs from next that I saw and that they appear to be a lot more absorbent so I went yesterday and I got some so here they are I thought they were six pound but the seven pounds what the difference is and why these work better these type so the, the front bit is 100% cotton the back in 77% cotton and 23% polyester with a PU coating so that's probably why because it's not 100% cotton so it stops the moisture from getting through at the back so I would have loved to have had something completely 100% cotton but everything that I've tried so far that is that it goes right through it goes right through so it says here dribble proof in a layer so I'm going to put one of these on him today and I'll definitely let you know how I get on with them and hopefully this will be the solution but I just feel really bad for Mikey when he's dribbling if the if the bib isn't soaking up the dribble it's literally getting through to his top underneath and sometimes his vest so it must be super uncomfortable for him so I really need to find something so I'm going to go out now and then I'm going to put one of these on the baby and I'll let you know how we get on later hey yeah hey we just got in and we was out for about three hours and Micah was awake and then he had a nap he's just woken up now from a nap hey so I am super pleased. I had this on him and uh, you probably won't be able to see it because it's quite dark but he has definitely dribbled all over it and I'm happy to say, sorry Baba, I'm happy to say that it is not wet at all. His clothes are dry so I would definitely recommend either these from Next or looking for one which has got a polyester mixed with cotton on the back that type of material if you can see hope you can see it there you go it keeps going out of focus but like yeah it can you can you see that it's wet there so yeah i'm really really impressed so i really like these bibs and I'm going to continue to use them and like I said I'll probably just use the other ones at a later date when he's not dribbling so much and when he's able to hold the thing at the end. So thanks for watching, if you like this video please click the like button and also please subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to be notified when I make new videos then click the little bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!